Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Well, if you're like me, it's nice to go out into the backcountry with a blade that can chop and clear like a boss and do some medium and finer work to boot. That's the beauty and advantage of a kukri styled blade. So today, we're going to take a quick look at the new Schrade SCH GK1 Gurkha Kukri and we'll take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of this style of blade. Let's get started. Charade makes a wide range of knives and tools, but if one thing defines Charade, it's the impressive quality of their gear for the price. SCH GK1 is no exception, with a price tag of around $40 US at the time of this review. This Kukri is full tang and made of 0.17 inch or 4.3 millimeter thick 3CR 13 stainless steel, which is a little thinner than some other Kukris but may allow you to slice through smaller brush more efficiently than heavier blades that can just wear you out. The blade is 12.8 inches or 32.5 centimeters, so it's plenty big enough for tough chopping jobs. Now like all Kukri style blades, we have a recurve toward the handle that pushes the majority of the blade forward making it great for chopping heavier vegetation than most machetes can. And the larger rounded belly of the SCH GK1 seems to increase efficiency while chopping. Closer to the handle, the flat section of blade works well at finer camp and bushcraft cutting and slicing. The spine side of the blade drops, forming almost a spear point that's pretty efficient at piercing, drilling, and with some practice, fine detail work. Now on the downside, the powder coating looks cool, but it has a bit of a texture. It can hold dirt and residue while you're cutting. To fix this, I'd love to see Charade use the same or similar coating to what they use on knives like the popular SCHF9 survival knife, or simply leave this blade uncoated since it's stainless steel anyway. The handle is made of durable, slip resistant TPE that fits really nicely in the hand while the grip flares on the blade and butt ends to help keep my hand in place while chopping. The SCH GK1 comes with a generally well-built black nylon sheath that allows you to sling the kukri over your shoulders. Or you can remove the shoulder sling and wear the GK1 on your belt, securing it to your leg with the included leg strap. It's nice to have these choices, but honestly, this blade is a bit big to carry on the belt. Now one downside to this sheath is that it can be a bit tricky to get the kukri in and out. Now let's take a look at owner comments. Owners love the overall design, the usability of this blade, solid construction, and a sharp and easy to maintain edge. There seem to be as many fans of the sheath as there are those who wish for a few modifications. Some question the choice of the coating and the thinner thickness of the steel versus some other kukris that could cost you quite a bit more. But all seem to agree that this kukri is an exceptional value for the price. Overall, the Charade SCH GK1 is a great first kukri for the adventurer in all of us and is priced so that you don't have to feel bad beating the crap out of this in the backcountry or the backyard. Now, if you're looking for another viable budget level kukri, check out the Cold Steel Kukri. Now, if you're willing to spend a little bit more and you're looking for more of a standard machete, check out two of my favorites, the Condor Golok or the Topps Knives Machete 170. We're just taking a quick look at the Charade SCH GK1 Gurkha Kukri Fixed Blade Machete. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that we've looked at in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV. Visit our website for more tips, reviews, and to subscribe to our free survival emag. This is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared because you never know.